here we go again everyone welcome Roxdale fans welcome subscribers welcome to anyone else that is watching welcome to any Peterborough fans watching we're here again for match day seven you've missed my face for the last few weeks because I told you I weren't going to the South End game which I didn't go to but I did watch it live however we are now back for another match day in the morning this is Friday night as you can see I've got a spotlight on me and it's night time it's about nine o'clock at night on the Friday and let's get uh, match day seven underway, Peterborough United away. Let's go into a little bit of stuff that's been happening since the last time you've seen me. It's been quite a while, so there's quite a lot of stuff to go through. But anyway, match day seven, Peterborough away, up the dale. Right, to be fair, there's not been that much that has gone on. However, this will seem like an ancient fucking memory to everyone now. Since the last vlog you've seen against Blackpool, the nil-nil, um, Berry went extinct. They are kaput, our derby day has gone, and our league now is down to 23 teams, which is 44 games, which I've never known in 31 years of being alive. That's never happened, it's always been 24 teams in the league. So Bury have gone, that's a shame, so you're not going to see a derby day vlog. Bolton was saved right in the last minute, um, they got new owners, so they're okay, and... Bolton have obviously, you should know by now, they've uh, employed Keith Hill, our former manager, and Dave Flitcroft, our former assistant manager, to form Hillcroft once more as a resurrection Phoenix club for, basically, Bolton Wanderers. I think they'll do well at Bolton. I hope they do well. I had no qualms with Keith Hill. I didn't want him to... Um, I know he left us it with the right time to leave us, but I hope he does uh, well at Bolton, apart from when they play us. So that that was that one. Uh, there was no vlog last week because Ipswich game got uh, cancelled due to international call-ups. But the big news, <clears throat> I've been waiting for this for 31 fucking years. We've got Manchester United away in just over two, in just under two weeks in the League Cup at Old Trafford. I cannot fucking wait for that game. Army of Dale fans are going to head to that game. Like, you, you don't understand how much I fucking despise Manchester United. And it's because... Growing up, I was the only Dale fan in my high school, St. Cuthbert's, only Dale fan. Everyone was a Man United fan, and I got ridiculed for being a Dale fan constantly. So, fucking, I cannot wait to get to Old Trafford. I don't even care about the result. I just want to fucking give it to them. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a good one as well. Now, I'm going to fucking cut it there. Uh, I'm getting down to Peterborough tomorrow on the coach, club coach. I'm going to have a beer now, go to fucking bed get fresh for the morning, head down to Peterborough and I'll give you a bit of um, analysis on what I think the game's going to be like down in Peterborough tomorrow morning. So I'll leave you all there and I will speak to you all again when I woke up in about 12 hours time. But yeah, Peterborough away, up the dale. So everyone, it is now the morning, uh, the day of the game itself. So let's uh, talk about Peterborough for a little bit. Um, now, I've, this will be my fourth visit to London Road. I've seen us lose the, like all three previous times. 3-0, 3-0 and 2-1 last season. With a poor display last season, actually. So, um, they've started the season quite well. I think in the last four games, they haven't even conceded a goal in the last four games. Scored 11, conceded none in those. They've also got a good player in Madison, who was um, nominated as um, one of the players of the month for August. So was Ian Henderson. So I think we're going to find it tough down there. They're normally a good team on uh, the home patch. And I'm going to be pessimistic, everyone. Score prediction. I think we're going to lose 2-1. But the way we're playing, because we've been playing some of the best football in the country, there's no denying that. If we can carry on playing that way, get maybe a bit of good fortune today and come away with a draw. I think I've said a draw in every fucking game so far. A draw would be a really good point in, at places like London Road because we usually come away with nothing. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 loss, hoping I'm wrong, hoping we can take a draw. But yeah, some of the football on display today should be good. Two of the worst places in Britain to live. Peterborough was voted the worst place to live. Roxdale was voted fourth worst place to live. However, we've got two good football teams um, this season. So the battle of the shitholes, let's see how it goes. Now I'm getting the coach at... 10 to 11, I've got to get the club coach down there. Uh, on my own, no Inter Malaga crew. I don't even know any predictions from them, so I can't give you those just yet. And I've got, I'm not getting caught on the motorway because it's setting off at like 10 to 11. 
It's a three-hour drive down, though, so if we get stuck in traffic, we're going to miss kick-off like the lads did on the South End game. Like, the coach didn't turn up till half-time. That is terrible. So I've got a milk bottle in there, because if I get stuck on the coach in traffic and I need a slash, my dick is going straight in the milk bottle and I am relieving myself in front of everyone into the milk bottle. But anyway, let's get to... I'm going to listen to some music, have a brew, and then get to uh, Spotland Stadium to get on this coach. Hopefully it's proper coach and not the fucking minibus. The milk bottle won't be required if it is a proper coach. Beer down to fucking Cambridgeshire. Come on the Dale. Obviously at the stadium now. This is me praying, walking around this corner and it's a real coach. Praying. That means I can get fucking sauced on the way down. But we shall see in a minute. Coach journey done, as you can see it in the background there. Proper coach, thank fuck. So it's been quite comfortable on the way down. Two and a half hours to get here. Fucking piece of piss. I could have fell asleep on that, but instead, as you've seen previously, had a few tipples. Now I can have a cigarette after being stuck on that for two and a half hours. And I'm going to head to where I went to last year, uh, which is that um, it's like a barge with a bar on it. It was decent. The weather's fucking lovely down here in Peterborough as well. So the worst uh, town in Britain to live in. It's got some uh, lovely weather today, so it's just that little bit better to be in Peterborough today. So let's get to this bar. There'll probably be a few Dale fans in there. There was last year. Finished my cigarette. And, uh, yes, we're here. Up the Dale. It was last year. Here is the bar, and I can sit outside. It's fucking boiling. So it'll be a time. First Dale fan I bump into in Peterborough is Dan, who's been here since when? 20 past 12. 20 past 12. Is that when you got down here? 20 past 12? Yeah. He's had a breakfast and he's on his what? Fifth now, is it? Or he's about to be. Dan, you were saying, score-wise, it'd be good to come away with at least something, right? Uh, yeah. Are we having a prediction, I'm though? Surprisingly positive. Today. Right, OK. 1-0. 1-0? I'm going to snatch it. I'll take that all day long. Yeah. Possession play again. We'll get the line-up soon. I just want to show everyone on the bar, because I didn't really get a chance to show on the bar last year on the boat to it last minute but it's all right this boat it some, sometimes feels like you're in a fucking fun house doesn't it because it's fucking slanted to shit yeah. <laughs> but here we are and i'm on a uh, something called crombecker or something like that but it tastes pretty good anyway a few more of these and then to the ground look at some of the names of these pints where we go there we go scarlet macaw citra bishop's farewell what's that one electric landlady Ginger Ninja, Blackout. Might have to try a few of these. Welcome, I told you you'd, fucking, you'd see me in that. I know it's a left hand, but yeah. there we go. What are we thinking, mate? 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two. Yeah, I ain't to Ooh, I, ain't I don't, that at all. I don't know. Vince? Right, we're going to 1-0. 1-1. Well, you, you're thinking better than me, because I've gone for thinking we don't get much down here. I'm thinking 2-1 loss, but... The same lineups out that they did at South End, and if they play like they did at South End, we'll be all right today. We played like it two years ago, we were 10 0, we won 1 0. They were in the playoffs and we still don't. So we're going to keep We'll do this. We'll be, we might be all right today. Let's see how the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes goes, and then we're done. I was going to sit in the sun, everyone, but it's too hot down there. I don't have shorts on, regretting that decision. And I've got a jumper on, not a jumper, but like a little short sweatshirt, and I'm fucking roasting. <laughs> Anyway, let's get this underway, everyone. Up the dale. Up the dale, go. Come on. Show, show me, show me, show me your shirt. What is that? Is that a Man United badge there? What's going on here? Kick him out, stewards. Please get rid of him. <laughs> the boys are out. They're coming for it. They're in the pink again, which has been doing us a good turn this season so far. And uh, yeah, here we go, everyone. What the fuck is that? Is that like Bob the Builder as a fucking? Mascot, where is it? Let me zoom into him. What is that mascot about? Anyway, here we go, everyone. Right, it's, it's thumbs up both keepers. The game's about to kick off. Peterborough are going to kick the game off. He's going to come and tell me not to camera now, aren't he? Not me with his big wig. Done. Here we go. Here we go. We've had what? We've had. This is it. This, as soon as I film a dangerous spot, it ends up going in. This is like less. Less than two minutes played. Mr. Manorin, don't panic. No, I won't panic. Keeping a good line though, Dale, actually. Offside. 
you want a right foot, a right footer on that, surely, right? Ooh, it's gone right past the post. That was close. That was close. Wonders went right across the goal, but first 15 minutes or so, Roxdale have absolutely dominated the ball. They're all over it, on possession again, passing in and out some over the top balls that have been really good. Peterborough have not come into it yet. There's not been any chances. Taylor going out wide again to uh, double barrel as Will calls him. Um, playing well, I guess. What do you think? Yeah. Playing, playing really well. Flat pause, it's going to wait for a goal kick. No, he's kept it in, but so far so good, but no chances for anyone yet so far. Oh, he's kept it in, he's kept it in. Oh, he's, he's whipped it, but yeah. Good so far. Sanchez has just made a fucking howler. What do I was saying at the start of the game? He's made a howler. He's tried taking on the player on the goal line and it's rolled into the net. All that good work that we've fucking done has been completely fucking eradicated. That was dreadful and he's... I told you. That's a problem. What the fuck were you doing? What were you doing? It's clear the fucking ball down the pitch. 1-0 Peterborough. Undeserved. First corner just after that fucking absolute calamity. He's gonna have to learn from that, he can't be doing shit like that. I see how the corner comes in. Oh no, is it? Oh, he's gone right across the face of goal. Has he kept it? He's kept it in. Just. He's back out to him again, he's not offside, he's on. Come on. No deserve to be behind in this game in any way, shape or form. There's number two, everyone. They've done, literally, Peterborough have done fucking nothing. Nothing for fucking 35 minutes. But got one goal from a dodgy keeper. Another one from a dodgy fucking pass. Rochdale will be dominant completely. And we're 2-0 down. Typical. Standard Rochdale. This game's now over, everyone. There's no way of getting back into this. I don't think Pike's good enough on this fucking right wing. He's not a striker. He's no one in the box when we want to put it in. Um, and that's that everyone it, it's quite embarrassing because we've been playing that well he's cut the ball out another mistake it's a good save but fuck me gonna, this passing football I've said it before it's all well and good passing about but you fucking you could pass you, you could pass yourselves into trouble and that's what we're doing fucking ridiculous number three yes it is three nil everyone fucking shit Play the ball all you fucking want, but they've got nothing fucking going for. This is fucking dreadful. Absolutely fucking dreadful. 3 0. I just feel like going to the pub already. This is fucking terrible. It's going to be half time analysis straight up. At least I can have a fucking beer here now. They can have a beer at Peter this time. But, as Will, you just put it on, I was interested to see possession stats. Over 70% possession, and we're 3 0 down. And what the fuck? Peter they've, they've only had two chances and scored three. You know, it, it's ridiculous. This game's been it's embarrassment. We've passed ourselves into submission. You can do all that passing all you fucking want, but it's not any good if you've got no end product at the other end, which we don't have and we haven't had all season. So there we go. It's 3-0. We'll start the second half in about 10 minutes time. Uh, this could be five, five, six. Maybe we'll snatch one. I'm going to go five, one. Fucking Plymouth away all again last year. But yeah, it's not good. Second half fun, Scott, man. We're going to win this 4-3. <laughs> We're never going to win this 4-3, are we, boys? <laughs> we might as well just make it a record-breaking loss now. Fuck it. Have some fun. But anyway, second half has begun. Another mistake. Another mistake. He's played to a player and he's lobbed him from about 40 yards. It's four, we're 4 0 down. This is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. I don't know what's happening, everyone. Look, they're all laughing. We're being laughed at. Being laughed at by the entire country. This is shocking, shocking, and it needs to fucking... This passing football, yes, it's all well and good. It needs to stop. We need a bit more fucking fight. I can honestly say this is like... It's embarrassing. Like look, We were just saying what's the worst game we've seen. Bradford last year losing fucking 4-0 at home. This is, this is bad. This is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Make the changes now. It's too late. We're 4-0 down out of nowhere. 4-0 down with 70 on possession of the ball. What the fuck? Five of the best, it's 5-0 everyone. Rochelle had a chance there before, 
like the player went down, the referee thought he dived, so there were no penalty, it went over the bar. And now it's 5-0, everyone. Now, I might just quit it there and go to the pub and then fucking finish it off. This is an embarrassment. T- t- Ivan Tony just put one into the bottom left corner, straight past Sanchez. This is um, this is the worst I've ever seen, I think, everyone. The worst. The worst. Keith Hill last year, we had some bad performances under him. But this is this eclipses that, this is terrible. Um, yeah, everyone, it's a penalty to Peterborough. <laughs> this is ready for 6-0. This is fucking absolutely diabolical we're, we're in embarrassment you can't call yourself a football club this is going to be a rugby score and possibly only two more goals it's our worst result in our 110 year history I'll turn it round let's have a laugh we're going to see our biggest defeat ever biggest defeat ever it's, got, it's about to happen Scott at least we were there eh? <laughs> at least we were there for it hang on Here's the penalty. He's going to score it. He's going to miss it actually. There you go. 6 0, everyone. 6 0. 6. 6 of not the best. 6 defensive mistakes. What the actual fuck is going on? Oh, I'm embarrassed. I shouldn't be here. I should go to pub. So, we brought Calvin Andrew on for Ian Henderson, who's gone missing again. He's been offside a few times, obviously. And let's see, let, let's watch this best chance that Rochdale have had so far, a corner, and it's not even been taken yet. Go on, Calvin. Like... No, no. No, 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 no. This is fucking shocking. Fans are trying to cheer Dale on. It's really injury time. He's put four minutes on, four minutes of more misery. This is the furthest forward we've been all game. Dreadful, I'll give you the end analysis very shortly and get this coach on. I don't know how I'm going to be cheered up everyone, but here we go. We're trying, we deserve a refund. I've left just before full time. How the fuck do you pick the bones out of that one? I don't know. All I can say is if you were for that fucking stupid first minute fucking on the line bullshit, then that wouldn't have been 6 0. Um, terrible display. Passive football, you can say all you want about passive football. You're going to get found out against uh, better teams. You could do it against Tramia, fair enough. Do it against Southend, yes. Against someone like Peterborough or, and Sunderland, who did it to us as well. You're not going to fucking win games. That was shocking. Not for you, lot. No, no, not, <laughs> not for you, lot. lot. That was absolutely dreadful. Probably one of the worst away games I've seen for, well, worst games I've seen my entire life. Maybe they're saving it up for Man United, I don't know. Hopefully, they've got all the mistakes out in one game because that was six goals from six mistakes. Done from London Road here. I've had enough. I don't know how I'm going to cheer up on the way home. Don't know how it's even possible to cheer up after that. Peter 6, Rochdale 0. I'll see you now against Lincoln City on Tuesday night at Spotland. They need to put a big statement against Lincoln. They need to fucking really maybe even change the way they're playing. Even though it's been good, change the way you're playing. We need a striker. We need someone up front that can fucking a target man. We don't have a target man. And without a target man, you are not going to get anywhere. Anyway, that's that. Done. See you against Lincoln, Tuesday night, at Spotland. It can't get worse than that. It actually can't, so... Up the deal.